Even in this age of high-tech yachts and super tankers, ocean navigation remains a risky business. Whether it is a yacht or a large container vessel, the worst case scenario can never be excluded. Statistics show that each year, accidents, emergency situations, and piracy attacks account for the loss of ships and personnel, often in the vicinity of the shore. But lots of lives could have been saved as rescue services are ready and able to assist. The immediate forwarding of the emergency signal to the rescue services is absolutely crucial. Using low earth orbiting and geostationary satellites, the Navtech Global C Plus offers much greater performance. The satellite-based rescue system uses state-of-the-art information technologies. With Navtech Global C Plus, Information containing the location of the distress incident is transmitted immediately and accurately due to continuous position updating using GPS. Proven through a multitude of tests under realistic and extreme conditions, the NavTech Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon System provides ultimate reliability under all conditions found at sea. Using the Global C Plus is extremely simple. From the ship's bridge, you may activate the beacon using the remote control unit. Simply key in the kind of emergency, then hold down both SOS keys for at least five seconds. Every kind of emergency has a designated button assigned to it, complying to international standards required by the IMO. Preparation for IMO codes piracy and man overboard have already been included within the NAVTEC Global C Plus EPIRB. In an emergency, a distress call can also be activated manually at the beacon. Simply pull out the security device and move the switch to SOS. In the worst case, if the ship sinks or capsizes, the beacon will be released and float free from the ship. When the beacon reaches approximately two meters depth, a release mechanism is operated by water pressure, which releases the beacon from its cradle. The seawater will activate the beacon automatically and start emergency alert transmission. For this reason, the cradle is designed to release the beacon even from the most extreme situations. Once at the surface, the beacon starts to transmit emergency signals to the satellites using the actual geographical position. An integrated GPS receiver updates the beacon's geographic position continuously for 48 hours. In the past, EPIRBs did not have this capability. Around the clock and around the world, low Earth orbiting satellites as well as geostationary satellites keep continuous watch, covering 100% of the Earth's surface. The system is prepared for Galileo. From space, the Global Sea Plus's emergency signals are forwarded to the rescue coordination centers. Here too, there are multiple layers of security. At least two rescue coordination centers are available for each satellite. This secure chain of information fulfills the crucial requirement. Every distress call will be delivered to the rescue coordination centers within the shortest time period. Every ship complying to SOLAS has the necessary satellite communication equipment on board. The Rescue Coordination Center works by organizing a helicopter or the next available ship. Once again, fast, efficient communication is provided since the IMO has introduced the GMDSS to establish reliable communications at sea. When the rescue authorities approach the distress area, the NAVTEC Global Sea Plus EPIRB assists in locating the emergency site with a strobe light and a radio homing beacon. But what happens if the EPIRB is inadvertently released? With most existing beacons, this is a problem. Up to 1,000 false alerts per true incident speak their own language. The NAVTEC Global C Plus EPIRB solves this problem. A one-minute waiting period can prevent false alerts by allowing the user to manually switch off the EPIRB. 
During this one minute interval, the Navtech Global C Plus generates an audible signal to indicate transmission of an emergency signal is about to take place. This time can be used to deactivate the beacon prior to the transmission. Cancel the transmission by holding both test keys pushed down for at least five seconds. The alarm can also be deactivated within the one minute interval at the beacon by moving the switch to the test position and holding it in place for 10 seconds. The Navtech Global C Plus also offers the following advantage. The emergency transmission can be tested at the beacon, either using the remote control unit or manually. Another one-of-a-kind feature worldwide, testing the integrated GPS receiver can be done by moving the switch to the test position and holding it in place for 10 seconds. The beacon will then activate the built-in GPS receiver, determining the position and delivering the coordinates in Morse code. When the boat is in dock, the EPIRB can very easily be removed from its cradle to protect it from burglars or it can be locked. The Navtech Global C Plus EPIRB can be ordered in different colors, as per your requirements. The beacon also complies with the strict demands of military users and is in use in various NATO countries. The new rescue system Navtech Global C Plus EPIRB guarantees safety at the highest level for yachts, commercial vessels, fishing boats of all sizes, and aircraft. Navtech Global Sea Plus EPIRB, for your safety on the high seas.